Yes, it hurts sometimes when you feel alone. It hurts sometimes when you're in that dark place and you feel no one cares about you. The first thing you got to realize is that you got to love yourself. It's about self-love. Start understanding that if you're going to do something with your life, you got to fall in love with yourself again. You got to stop self-hating yourself. Do something that's going to make you a better person. Make an impact in this world. Don't look at it as though it's something that you got to do temporary. Although we know that life is short, like many people in this world, they didn't realize that the next day they was going to be diagnosed with a cancer. They thought that tomorrow was going to be waiting for them and they did not wake up. But you are still living. Now what do you have to do? How are you going to move forward? How are you going to proceed your life? Life is not a game. Life is living. There's the good and there's the bad. And there's definitely the right now. You can't wait for somebody else to make your life better. You got to make your life better. You got to focus on you. Now, I'm not saying forget the rest of the people, but I'm telling you to get rid of the things that are not making you strong, that are not making you better, that are not making you efficient, that's not putting you in a better place, that's not giving you the strength that you need to keep living the life that you have been given. Don't you give up on life, because once your life is over, you can't come back. Leave your mark. Help someone. Lift someone up when they're down. Be the strength for others when they're weak. And maybe when you're at the weakest point in your life, someone will lift you up. Because we all struggle. No one is immune to it. So keep fighting for it. Don't give up. Live, breathe, life, you. That's what it's about. It's going to hurt. Sometimes it's going to get tough. But when it get tough, you get tough. Just make sure you make your mark. Make sure you make your mark in this world. But somebody didn't make it today. But you did. Keep living. Keep living strong. Don't give up. It is not about worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow because guess what? Tomorrow doesn't owe you or me anything. And matter of fact, tomorrow has already made up his mind. You have this moment. You can't worry about yesterday because yesterday is not coming back to look for you. Whatever you had the chance to do yesterday won't come back. But you have this moment. You have this chance to do something great with this life that you have been given. You may have been through a lot in your life. You may have been through hell in your life. But hell doesn't own you. Hell did not create you. Life has been given to you from a higher power. Something that you need to understand that no matter who you are, in this world that we live in today, everyone must struggle. Everyone must suffer. But everybody 
that is going through something always has a story to tell. Most people that are successful right now had to go through something to get what they got to this day. Some people are not even willing to hurt and to feel that so that they get what it is that they want. But let's go beyond that. What about the other people out here who can't walk? What about the people out there who can't talk? What about the people out there that are suffering from diseases they cannot be cured from? What about you? What about you? What are you gonna do about the life you have? How are you gonna live? How far are you gonna go? Do you feel sorry for yourself because you're having a bad day? Do you feel sorry for yourself because you lost your job? Do you feel sorry for yourself because you just feel like you're just not having the day that you want to have because the day that you have is not the way you want it to go? Or do you feel that you deserve a pat on your back because you did a good thing? We all got a responsibility. We all got to be accountable. We all got to put in work, but don't give up. Because there's somebody out there right now that is hurting. There's somebody out there right now that is struggling. There's somebody out there right now that's got it a little bit tougher than you do. So why are you gonna give up now? Anything that comes your way, you got to be prepared to accept the challenge and go through it. Don't lay on your back. If something's on your chest, get it off. As long as you're breathing, as long as that heart is pumping blood, you're not dead yet. They haven't put rose petals on your box yet. Make sure every breath you take counts for something. It's time to understand that if you want to get something out of your life, you've got to be willing to work for it. How much are you really willing to give? Are you prepared to hurt? Are you prepared to struggle? Because if you're not that person, then lay back down. Stay where you are. Don't move forward. Move backwards. But if you are the person that you say you are, we don't have time to wait. Because time doesn't owe you anything. Time is not thinking about you. Time has already made up its mind. What you gonna do? Who said it's supposed to be easy? It takes grit. It takes tenacity. It takes sacrifice. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. This is not a pity party. But you got the right to celebrate the life. Because no matter if it's good or if it's bad, nothing is greater than living. Because if you're living, there's a possibility to change something. But not just change it, evolve it. Evolve it to something greater. Being able to take something that may not be nothing to others, but may mean something to you. There are so many people in this world that don't believe in you. But while you're sitting around worrying about people believing in you, why don't you focus on believing in yourself? Live. Breathe. Life. You. That's what it's about.